Yo guys, what is going on? This is Yorkyman here, and I am back after a year's absence. A year out of recording. Well, just over a year, I think, um, from recording or doing anything, um, any kind of content whatsoever behind the scenes. You know, I've still played games and whatnot, but I've not produced anything, and I've decided I am coming back with a Football Manager 2017 save with Inter Milan and. I don't know if this is me coming back and continuing, but I'm just going to give it a little shot. I'm going to give it a little shot, see how it goes, and then I'll determine what I want to do after. But anyway, it's exciting to be back, but I'm just going to jump right into the save and get right excited about it and just see if we can have some kind of success in Football Manager 2017. Because so far, on camera, I've never had success there's never been one successful moment i think from failing at stoke and i failed at west brom crawley started going somewhere but the the years caught the year caught up with me and then football manager 2016 came out and i didn't record anything on that and i had success on that game but not on camera so hopefully this time round it will be on camera if the inter save goes down well and you guys are enjoying it and I'm enjoying it then I will definitely do another save this isn't going to be mega long term I'm hoping maybe five seasons tops possibly but I just want to dive into it and get excited I've not managed in Italy before the one thing that I found frustrating so far in Italy is you're I think you're allowed one non-EU player and we all know the best players in the world now at the minute seem to be non-European players so that's that's really hindered some of the players I've looked for and some of the players I could have gone for and the fact that they've got Gabriel Barbosa but I can't have him in the squad until next season because he's not eligible because he's a, a non-EU player and we already had one signed up for the squad so uh, that seems a little bit silly so I'm going to have to look and try and loan him out um, which is just all ultimately frustrating when it comes into this first season but anyway guys the season has kicked off i will show you the transfers in a minute season's kicked off and the biggest talking point so far is bologna they beat juventus 3-1 in the opening game of the season so this bowls for us well straight away juventus are picking up l's from the beginning and hopefully that will stay that way because we need um to hopefully finish i think it's top was it top two or top three? I think it's top three who qualify for Europe, but I'm not 100% sure. Inter are in the Euro Cup, so we do have um, that competition this year, which is difficult because I didn't really get to strengthen the squad. I would, you know, the way I would want to. Um, the the transaction wise, there wasn't too much. I was given a bit of a budget, but there hasn't been too much that's gone on um, within the transfer, so it's going to be a little bit of an issue with that. But we'll deal with it we'll deal with it we'll stay calm and we'll deal with it first of all i'll show you the transfers because they're always the most exciting there could be more transfers yet obviously it's start of the season august hasn't ended yet i think there's still another game until august ends so there could be some more transfers but unless players go out you know nobody else will come in for us that's just the way it'll be now and we've kind of matched it four have gone out four have come in but we've spent you know we we haven't really made any money with players going out apart from a bit of wage budget but we're getting into it now. So, Asan Gukuri, you know, you know, I suck at names, guys, so you're just going to have to get used to it when I'm on loan. The only big one, really, on this one, these are just youngsters. Whether they're going to be anything, Lorenzo Dickman was actually a player. I love him because he's, he's, he's Dickman. It's just great. Hopefully, he'll be a future star and we can be screaming his name in the live comms. But um, I literally just loaned him back out. It, it was part of the. Um, the deal he came up in now they do scouting for you. they they bring up players you should look at which is really good because <clears throat> they come up with quite a lot of different places you should scout and whether you're going to pick up any of those players or not it's just great I, I would have preferred to have kept him i don't know why it still says he's in in the team but oh he's on loan anyway um but he just looked like he had good potential we could use a wing back for the future although it says midfielder right there he, I'm going to try and train him as a defender right or a wing back so it, it was just literally that was the case of trying to get him in for that reason and Palacio went I don't care if he's a club legend I don't care if he's 34 he was taking up a non-EU spot I don't again I'm still baffled I don't know how it works because I've still got I think it, I, when I had him I had four non-EU players 
and, and four were eligible. So I think you can only make one player a season eligible with that spot. Then that's it. They're eligible for the rest of time for your team. Um, but you can only have one player a year. So it's not like I can only have one non-EU player in the squad. Once they've been registered that season, that's it. They don't have to be registered next season. And you can bring in another. I think possibly that's the try and keeping it very Italian. But I don't know. He's not a terrible player. And really the only reason I got rid of him was his wage. I mean he's gone to earn more. He was on like eight, I think 80 something for me. He's gone on to earn 105. You know the man's living his life out well. Um, but it was time to get rid of him. He was just taking too much on the wage budget so it's just like right let's get rid of him. And the business coming in we spent 24 million. Um, I am looking to get another youngster on loan up front because um, Jovetic has got injured. Um, and you know Akadi is still teetering on the verge of I want to leave I said I'll get in Champions League next season if I don't that's a Cardi gone which is going to be tough because he's the linchpin of the attacking it and I don't care if his tweets have upset every Inter Milan fan in the world right now and they hate him He, we need him for the save he's going to score most of the goals if not all the goals so I've got no backup really for him because um, the player I signed Carlos Vela I'm not really looking to use him up front I like him on the right and the left or in the centre. He, he's versatile. That's why I went for him. I, to be 100% honest, I wanted Iosi Perez, but PSG snapped him up. He didn't come to me. So, Carlos Vela was my fallback. I know I'm going to get a lot of abuse, but I've always been a fan of him. I think Arsenal should have given him a bigger chance, and he, he's done some good stuff in Spain. So, we signed uh, Adrian Rabio from PSG on loan, and he's actually someone instantly... <laughs> If I'd have had the money this season, I'd signed him. So hopefully if we do pick up some money at some point, he's someone I want to bring in. I want him to be a, a, a signing. He'll be brilliant in that centre midfield position. He's 21 for a long time. So definitely someone we want to look and bring in full time. I wasn't really sure about this. He came up as, as is suggested in a scouting when I thought my centre-backs, apart from one, who's like 34, um, and, and fantastic. They're, they're okay, they're running the ball and I thought, right, so I'll get another, send it back in, Italian, 24, not bad. It turns out when he got here that he's not the greatest, but his stats are good. His heading worries me a little bit, and his physical sides aren't great. He's a bit of a quicker defender. He's, he's not got the jumping reach you would want, but his bravery is pretty decent. And he's tackling and marking a good 15-15 and positioning. I don't see him as being a terrible defender. Okay, we spent a little bit more money than you'd want to do, but he's not earning a great whack. And I think versatile, versatile, he will be versatile for us, which is, you know, I'm excited about that. I don't know why I did that. G Engine does that sometimes. And then obviously we brought in Carlos Villa as well and Lorenzo Dickman. Carlos Villa, I don't know, you know, I just... I've always liked him, and his dribbling's awesome, his first touch is great, his crossing is not terrible, he's playing as an inside forward. With finishing his 15, I think he's just as good as Jovetic, and he's a speed beast. And I just don't see how he can be a bad signing. I, I understand how he could be, but at Real, he, he's been fantastic for them. He's scored plenty of goals and, and created a lot of goals as well, so... I'm happy. I'm happy with Carlos Vela. He may be terrible for me, but I'm happy to have him in the squad. But anyway, we can jump straight into our first game and our first live comp, which I am bringing back, guys, because I didn't. I don't think I did live comps for the last save. I'm in a better position now where I could sit down and actually live comp games. But uh, we're going to have to make some changes to the squad in a second. Well, we'll do it now. We'll let him pick. Right. Am I happy with that? We've got so many injuries. But look, it's, it's just like, why is Joe Mario not registered? Or Abio? Do, do they not have the same rule of the under-21s in Italy? That's confusing. That's real confusing. How, why can't they be registered? Surely I've not got 25. Have I got 25? 
damn. Like, well, this dude, you're out. And this dude as well. Never even heard of you. You're out, but I thought under 21 players just instantly went into the team. Oh, that's why they were in because of the homegrown. That's the only reason those two players were in. Do you let me confirm? No, I have to have. Oh my god. This is this is issue number one. Well, I will. No, right. But he's just. Didn't I just put them back in? Right. So that's fine as long as it's two. Those two spaces free. Well, that's frustrating. Oh man, I didn't know that. That's really frustrating because they're two good players. I'm, I'm gonna have to work around the squad how I can fit them into the team because I can't. They're just two players I don't want. Rabio definitely, but I I really don't want. Shall Mario be now? He's such a good midfielder who's going to progress. So, in this save, I'm really going to have to go as home, homegrown as possible. See, now he. Now I'm allowed to pick him. I don't understand. Right, so if I, if I go on. I know this is faffing about for the first episode, but I haven't picked him. Obviously, he's an under 21, so. I'm guessing he's instantly eligible as long as there's the place there in the squad. Right, so that's fine. So I just need to pick, like, free up one bit of room. And I am contemplating getting rid of one centre defender because I've got that many. And there he is. Out. In. Confirm. Sweet. Right, we fixed it. So we need to sell a centre back, but we fixed it. So shout. Why is he not registered now? In. Yes. Right now he's registered. Right. So now he's registered. That's fine. That's. I'm sorry about that, guys. That's. I don't know if I should cut that part out. But BBM is not registered now. This is gonna drive me insane. So now, now I'm wrong again. Ah, who do? But who do you leave out? So like literally, who do you leave out as, as the team? If I have BB on it, in, what about if I have? Is that no? He's not homegrown by the club. But then what if I take on, can I take both? No. I'm seriously going to have to contemplate this. So, what about that? Does that work? I feel like that worked. Because it created the two spaces. Right, that, that worked. Right, so both def man, that's tough. So I just bring up some youngsters then because they can play. But yeah, these two are now out. We're gonna have to look to sell. Right, anyway, guys, sorry about that. That stall. We are gonna go into this game against Fiorentina now. This is a tactic we're playing. I've found in preseason it worked really well. If you look at the schedule. And I do apologise for this video running over a little bit. Look at the schedule. We played really well. It beat into our twenties. Santa Clara 3-0. Bologna 2-0. Dortmund 1-1. One, one. 
which we went one up, and Wolfsburg won one. So the two German sides, but I, I consider them pretty decent sides. And then we destroyed, I tweaked the tactic. We destroyed Galatasaray and we destroyed Augsburg in the last game. It's very attacking and free flowing, which is kind of the way I want to go with it because the typical Italian reserve style is not what I want to do. But if need be, I will go classic Italian and try and keep possession and, and drop deeper and just play that kind of football. But let's go into this one. I'm quite happy with Eder there and Perisic there because it's the same team. But Gian Mario, I don't want there because he's not a ball winning midfielder. I prefer. No, I want Brazovic there and I want Melo for Condogbia. I prefer Condogbia, but Melo just plays great in that ball winning midfielder position. He's a player that probably won't be here next season and again, he's on great. You know, huge wages, but I'm going to use him for this season because he's experienced. And as you can tell, we we can fill the seven. So I'm definitely going to have to promote some youth players. And as you can tell, we've got Stefan Jovetic Jov Jov out, which is not great. And we've also got Carlos Vela out. I could look, you know, put your suggestions in. I could look to get rid of one of the non-EU players who would then take away one of those spots and get uh, that's what I'm thinking I'm going to do I'm going to get rid of yeah that goalkeeper it frees up a spot and hopefully I can put Gabriel Barbosa in that spot then because I want to start using this 19 year old Brazilian wonder kid straight away right let's submit the team I must admit, I'm loving, absolutely loving FM17 so far. It's, it's really enjoyable. Um, the new graphics, just a new little touches. Every year they just do, for me, little touches that just makes the game more enjoyable. The beta does have that touch that it takes a bit longer. We are doing 2D, not 2D classic. Um, I like the new 2D version. The replays will be in um, 3D, but... Um, we send assistance to that. This is you see. This could be a tough game. Christian Tello is is brilliant. I'm a bit nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit nervous. Right. Did great with that team talk. Let's do calmly. Right. That seemed to lighten the mood. We'll do calmly again. Yeah. That went well. I always think there's a lot more to come from the players because that seems to be what we're talking about. Do you know what, guys? Leave a comment if you want the sound on or not, but I personally um, I don't really like it. I feel like it drowns everything out. It's so loud. But if you want the sound on, just leave a comment and you know, I can debate putting that on. I've left it on key as well. I, I will watch the live come games in key because you can't be here all day watching these videos but I, I do tend to play oh close there from Brozovic I tend to play by myself on extended I can work out how the game's going ah uh, Baldej Sanchez I this would be nice to get an early goal I feel a bit more comfortable and I want Akadi to be scoring and hopefully Tottenham to not come in for him if we have to get Champions League for Ed, uh, yes, one nil in exciting, exciting, one nil in but yeah, I want, um, I want Akadi not to do much this year, in terms of being an absolute superstar, because if, if he goes next year, I'm going to have the biggest hole up, um, up front, I, who did I go in for, I went in for, I've forgotten the name of the kid. The young, I think he's Portuguese. The youngster from um, Porto. I seem to raid Portugal at the minute. I don't know if anybody else does it, but Portugal's got so many great players. Like Porto have such a good team. I do it on FIFA. I always raid Porto and Benfica and whatnot. So I went to Porto straight away. Neves, they wouldn't let me have him. And I, I went in for Ramos for nearly 30 million. Brazovic, 2 0. It's a good start. This is a very good start. What kind of goal was this? I feel like it was a screamer. He scores screamers. Oh. 
I threw a crowd of players, but I will take it. I will take it, lads. Oh, 2 0 in the first half. This is. Just don't let them get back into it, though. They do have a good team, Fiorentina. That you know, they're definitely just outside. Depending on people, you know, the other teams' performances, they're just outside that top group, that top pack, which Inter Milan haven't been in for so long. Neither has AC. You know, I am looking forward to those rivalries. And Roma have a great team. It'll be nice to see how Napoli do without Higuain. You know, bounce back. And uh. Brazovic again from distance. Oh, he hits the post. Is it on extended? I might have left it on extended. No, it's on key. So key this year actually has a few more highlights. I, th I think when I used to watch the highlights, you literally knew if you were on key that it was probably going to be a goal. If the highlight was going against you, it was probably going to be a goal. I was scared that I don't want them coming back into it. I do tend now. I, I play attacking, but I'll drop to control now. <laughs> Because I just want to control the pace of the game now. With we're, we're two up, Prosic. The, there is the possibility of letting one of the really big players go in and getting a lot of cash. But oh no, Kalinich. I don't really want that to be a case. I don't want us to lose one of our bigger players um, this season. Why? Why we've got quite a strong squad. So, yeah, Cardi's not having a great game up there by himself. But I know if he gets the chance, he'll finish it. If he gets the opportunity, he gets the chance, he'll finish it. I have to have that faith in him. Since we're going to control, I don't feel like we're controlling the game of Cardi. See, he's all on his own up there. He's not got much. Can you find Perisic? No. Ever Benega. Perisic. Perisic. Tense two nil though. This is exactly how we wanted to go. First season's gonna be tip like I don't intend to challenge. Oh, Persic. Oh, I rattled around there. Amber Sir. Oh. I don't intend to be challenging Juventus this year. I I'll settle. The aim this season, really, in my head, is let's try and get Champions League football. Let's compete. And let's get Champions League football. Felipe Melo's not played well. I need to change it so that Rabiot comes in here and we play like that. Maybe. Like, no. Medell could do it coming on, actually. Benegra off and get him a bit of a break. And we'll play like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm hoping Champions League. Champions League will be nice for us this year. I think we can't really ask for much more than that. Akadi. Go on, Akadi. <sighs> Try going on his own. I've got to applaud him for trying to go on his own. He's, he's up there on his own. He's the captain. He's, he's not a big... <laughs> the, the fans aren't big on him at the minute. Luckily, that doesn't translate into the game. But, um, yeah, the fans in real life aren't too big on him. I'm going to bring Perisic off. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave a Cardi on. Because, really, in reality, don't have a striker on the bench. So I'd have to drop drop down to a uh, attacking midfielder. Not the striker this formation. I don't see the point in that. B.I. will come on. He's been wanted by a lot of clubs. Holding on to him has been tough because, again, he's good cover. And I, I think the biggest thing was um, the fee we were getting for him. I, I couldn't replace him. You know, what he can do for the club. I couldn't replace him. So I, I was definitely against it. Hopefully, this is looking good for our first win. March stats. Look at that. Look at the match stats. We've had 42 shots. We, wow, guys. Have you ever seen that? 42 shots. Wow. We absolutely blew them away in that. Well done, lads. I absolutely blew them away. I'm surprised it was only 2 0. 40. Wow, man. I've not seen that before. 42 shots. 9 on target. We had 59% of the, the possession. That's insane for, for game one of the season. 
but we aren't actually top because AC Milan went for a stormer of a 5-1 result by the looks of it and you know Juventus have lifted a little bit now because some more teams have conceded more but it's only game one but I consider Fiorentina I don't know what you guys think I consider Fiorentina quite a difficult game one so I'm happy that we picked up the win and picked it up so successfully as, as we did in that game but anyway guys that's going to be the end for this episode I will wrap up the transfer window and I'm not sure what I'm going to come back with I'm not sure how I'm going to update it whether sometimes when I watch YouTubers I don't tend to like monthly updates or, or free game updates I, I prefer personally to see a good chunk of time gone not a huge amount of time but good chunk of time so there's more to go over but I'm feeling like maybe we could bring a Euro Cup game or I would have wanted to bring you the Roma game and that was going to be the game I brought you but I thought I want to bring opening game of the season and get get the first video out there so maybe Napoli let me know what you guys think I'll, I'll look out for the comments maybe Napoli or maybe a Euro Cup game depending who we get in the Euro Cup we could go for that first but nice to bring a, a bigger game but definitely AC Milan well this is gonna have to be a vote actually I was gonna say AC Milan but Juventus is just after it so you're kind of gonna have to choose between the two or, or, or if you want both leave a comment saying that you want both and I'll either try and do a dual live com or I'll, I'll live come one in one episode and one in the other but anyway guys thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it it's great to be back recording some content for you and, and actually having an unbeaten start to my career as as in a Milan manager for, for YouTube I'm saying it now you I'll come back in the next episode and it'll just be not downhill but anyway guys thanks a lot for watching Take care.